Iran backed Houthis escalate their attacks, threats to US warships increase. The Houthis of Yemen think they're at war with the West. According to Bloomberg, with the news that three undersea fiber optic cables were severed off the Yemeni coast and that one of their ballistic missiles took lives for the first time upon striking a container ship, it's time to acknowledge that we are at war with them. The much harder question is how to fight this kind of asymmetric foe. What the Houthis are proving is that the developed West faces rising challenges on two fronts from weaker enemies ranging from non-state actors to the likes of Iran and Russia. And for all the still extraordinary power of US carrier fleets, the answer to those challenges can't always boil down to just getting tougher, drawing lines and establishing deterrence, the standard Washington strategy. Recently, US-British forces shot down dozens of kamikaze drones, missiles engaged in an attack launched by Iran-backed Houthis in the Red Sea region. The Houthi operation, largest reported to date, was against a Singapore-flagged cargo ship and several American warships. The Houthis military spokesman Yahya Sari confirmed the strike and said the attacks would continue until the aggression stops and the siege on the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip is lifted, according to Iran International Newsroom. The Houthis have been targeting commercial vessels and often U.S. warships in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden since November, disrupting global maritime trade, forcing major shipping companies out of the region, sinking one ship and killing three civilian crew members. The attacks began after Iran's ruler, Ali Khamenei called for Muslims to blockade Israel. The swarm attack last Saturday may be seen as a significant escalation since it's much more likely that one out of the many drones flying together evades the defense systems and hits a US warship, which would force the Biden administration to elevate the level of its response, possibly even targeting Iranian assets. This time, however, no US or coalition Navy vessels were damaged in the attack and there were also no reports by commercial ships of damage. According to US Central Command, the action was taken to protect freedom of navigation and make international waters safer and more secure. Do 
Господи, что это, Саш? Бля, что ты ебала? Мамочка, пошли нахуй отсюда! Блядь, там что-то падает, Саш! Пошли, блядь! Бог, это беспилотники, Саш! Ебать! Охуеть! Охуеть! Не знаем, что происходит. Был такой взрыв. Здрасте. Аж хлопок только был, что стены задрожали на С5. Представляете? И вот такой огонь. Все горит.